Hello everyone! Today, I'll be reviewing Agnes, a movie that I screened at the 2021 Fantasia International Film Festival. Agnes is directed by Mickey Reese. It's also written by Mickey Reese and John Selvage. Agnes stars Haley McFarland, Chris Sullivan, and Molly C. Quinn. This is an Agnes movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Agnes film review. That really helps us out with YouTube's algorithm, and please consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you're all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon. The link is in the description. Rumors of demonic possession at a religious convent prompts a church investigation into the strange goings-on among its nuns. A disaffected priest and his neophyte are confronted with temptation, bloodshed, and a crisis of faith. If you're a fan of horror films, the theme of Agnes is a little familiar, right? We're diving into a demonic possession film. However, this film, I feel like, at the very beginning did a really good job setting the table, and it kind of immediately started to fall off. With me, anyway. The opening of the film actually jars you. It jarred me. Fantastic opening. And it just, it kind of quickly fades. So I would just critique the writer a little bit. I like this theme of original sin versus original blessing because it really challenges our you know, framework of how we understand good and evil. We get introduced to this character, Father Donahue, and he's we're, he's a pretty familiar character within the church universe. You know, priest who's been in the chapter his whole life, has kind of turned a little disillusioned with the church, doesn't believe in parts of it, goes along with parts of his job because he has to. And he's known for, you know, giving inspirational speeches, but he's also used for exorcisms. His expertise is used for exorcisms. And we quickly also get introduced to this new priest, Benjamin, played by Jack Horowitz. I think this new priest is brought in for a reason because there's a dynamic in the, in one of the opening, in one of the f scenes in the first third of the movie where Father Donahue is sitting with leadership of whatever convent that he's at. I got the sense quickly that this new priest was brought in for a specific reason. It's kind of disappointing that we don't get what that reason is. And I'm not sure if this movie was meant to be funny. Maybe it, maybe it, maybe it was meant to poke fun at aspects of the church, but I grew up in the Catholic Church, so it was extra funny to me. So anybody who has experience in the church, some of these scenes are really funny in that there's a kind of um, Wizard of Oz aspect of the Catholic universe, right? When you when you're a child and you go to school, these priests are really in this mystical kind of um, vein. And so Agnes is a great film in that it pokes fun at behind the curtain, quote unquote, you know? So it's really, it's really cool. But my first critique of the film, besides the fact that the writing is pretty empty, so the, it makes the story kind of pitter off really quickly, is that the soundtrack is really bad. Um, it's just a, re it's not, they, they should have, I know what they were trying to do with the soundtrack, but they could have been a lot more thoughtful with it. And they could have, it could have been a whole lot better because it really, some of it takes away from what's going on in the film. Like, when they're going into the exorcism, that frame. Music is cool. Like, the, what they're doing with the music is cool. But the song could have been different. And I think it would have been just an overall better scene if the music was different. I like the buildup of the exorcism in this film. I like... There were there are really aspects of this film that I really, really like. And then there's other aspects that I really, really didn't like. Because the effects during the exorcism were really bad. And it just took away from the setup because the setup was a lot better. Uh, the makeup sometimes was really bad, and that really took away from the experience, because I was, there was, I kind of go in and out of being enthralled with Agnes, because the themes are enthralling. You know, they're talking about ego, they're talking about pride, they're talking about how these things equate the devil, and they're great things to talk about. They're great philosophical conversation points. My favorite character in the film, I think, is Mother, because she was... She just played her part really well. Mother was played by Mary Buss, and I just love her urgency and her devoted nature. You know, it's really, it helps tell the story in a, in a great way. Some of their shots that they chose really helped build anxiety, and then they chose to 
to, to change frames in a way that almost broke through into a quiet. So some shot would be building, 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 and, and then all of a sudden break way into quiet and calm. And it was really blissful the way they did that. And there's really a lot of aspects that are great about this film. But I have no idea what happened to some of these characters. I have no idea why they did some of the things that they did. We, they should have dove into more about um, when she lost her child and why she left the church and, and just those kind of themes because it, it could have really added a lot of meat to the story. The stand-up comedy section was really bad. I, I, we, could, we could have saved six minutes on the whole runtime if we just took out that entire stand-up comedy section. But I know why they put it in, because you need something to set up her um, redemption. I just think that they could have done that a better way. Like, the stand-up comedy bit was really bad. They could have introduced that character a different way. And it would have, re it would have made the movie better. You know, these things kind of really took away from what the film could have been. You know, the film speaks mightily about the power of brainwashing. It's powerful because it's just certain elements within this story are really powerful in what they ask of you to think about as someone who grew up in the Catholic Church. Um, but overall, I think it's, it's, it's pretty bad because there's too much lazy choices, too many things that could have been chosen to go differently or, or made other choices, and it really would have made the movie a whole lot better. The plot points, I have no idea some of these plot points are so disjointed that you kind of get whiplash trying to follow what is going on here. Some of the character introductions are really weird. It just made me ask a lot of questions. And if a film, if you leave a film with a lot of questions about what happened, then that means that it wasn't that well done. Overall, I think, and, and there's, there's a reason why I critique this film so harshly, because I think it could have been a lot scarier and deeper and more meaningful. Agnes could have been a much more powerful film if some of these choices were made differently. And that's the only reason why I critique it the way I do here. But overall, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Um, unique in its genre, I think, because there's elements in there that I've never really seen before. Some of the shot selections, and they made an exorcism movie pretty fun. That's the good thing. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Agnes movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comment section. If you like what you heard during this film review, please like this video. And please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for viewing and you can watch one of these reviews soon.